welcome back to my channel it is lydia what's up i'm low-key whispering because i'm in the library though this is not the quiet section so i came to the library today because i was hoping to print something out i need to print out some work that i need to do for a client tomorrow morning you're probably wondering why don't you just buy a printer but the honest to god truth is i genuinely haven't printed something in probably about three years oh is this the secret Tom Fox, no, sorry. Um, I haven't printed something in like in many years, so there's no point in me buying a whole new printer when I have literally a whole library available, you know? For my taxes, so paying your taxes, make sure you use your local services available. So I'm gonna have to come back tomorrow morning instead to print this thing. It's a big ass library, there's so many books. I genuinely need to come and get a book out. But the problem is, do they do audible books? Let me go and ask them, because I'm I'm an audible reader. Hi Lydia. Hey Dot. No worries, Dot. Um, the computer is closed, so um, we'll have to do it tomorrow. But I've got the card, I've got the library card. So back home guys, I wanted to show you my fit properly. Look, it's so freaking cute. I feel like I wasn't doing it any justice in the library. Oh, and also, jewels, jewels, and jewels. These are black owned business, Ellie Hunter. So freaking cute. It's got Virgo on this one, just and then a plain chain, and then earrings, very light earrings. You know I love a light earring. Anyway, I'm here because, see this? This is my rug. These are my acrylics. These are my dining chairs, and I don't know what this one is, but basically I have lots and lots of things to unpack and get together for the house. So, how you feel about joining me? This has been here for some time now, so let's, let's get to it. I don't even know what this is. Ah, yes. Pillow protectors. I was saying that I need to get pillow protectors. That's great. As you can see, I ordered it off Amazon in the end. <laughs> Amazon is easy. These should be the acrylic tops for my powder room and also Dorothy's desk. You guys heard in my last vlog leaving a voicemail to Tyrone asking him where they were. He literally got it sorted out that same morning. And I think they arrived the day after. Let me unbox it. Let me see what they look like. I don't even remember. Are they clear? Is it glass? I'm opening like I have no glass. Yeah, they've been cut. They're cut to different sizes. Shout out Tyrone. T. Williams Property Services comes through yet again. So these are the acrylics that we needed for the bedrooms. As you can see, they've been cut into three different sizes. This one should be for my one. This should be for dots. I think the bigger ones are yours. Hopefully they should fit. Let's go and try them upstairs. Dot, I'm about to go into your room. Is that okay? Oh, it's tidy. So we are in Dot's room. I'm hardly, hardly ever in here, but I'm hoping that these will fit. I can't tell if this thing is clear plastic or if it's green, or if it's the plastic that's making it green. We'll I first start by cleaning the desk up. I'm taking things off here. Oh, it's clear. The bag was green. The plastic is clear. Shout out Tyrone. Perfect, guys. Let's put this on. Perfect. Precision King comes in yet again. Perfect. You literally can't see. Can you see? Perfect. This is exactly what I needed, like exactly. I am just so happy, honestly. Oh, this is for downstairs. I thought there was a spare one, but this must be for the um the black table downstairs. Shout out Tyrone, man. These two must be for my bedroom. This is gonna be for the outside, top of the desk, and then this is gonna be for the inside. So let's go to my beauty room and fix these ones too. I am so happy with this, literally. <laughs> Guys, so welcome to my beauty room. This is literally what, this is, this is a real, representation of what it looks like in here most days once i've finished doing my makeup it just i just leave it and i close the door and that's it but let's tidy up real quick and then i'm planning to clean up this um with the wipes and then put the new protective um acrylic on top there's also an inside drawer that i need to empty ah! Yikes. the best thing honestly about this room is the ability to just close the door when i'm done with the day and just disappear like nothing happened here. You 
see this part here they didn't take account to that part to cut it i need to cut basically like a small little square so that i can slot it all the way in because i want it to be flush you guys know i like things precise so this needs to be cut i don't know whether to try it myself with a saw or like a hand saw or whether i'm just kidding myself okay so now that the acrylics are done i've got next package which is this this is my venuta rug you guys, this is gonna be the third rug that we're trying in this house. Like, I just, I want something that makes sense for the space. And in fact, even this one, this might not be the final one. Like, <laughs> there's another rug that I'm currently looking at online. That's like a washable rug. So let's see. I don't even remember which one this is. It's been that long. Ooh. Oh, this feels so much softer. The one from Ikea? Mm-mm. So this is it this is the bonita rug i think it's a yes from us absolutely love this one only thing that i'm concerned about is the edges because obviously it's quite um it's a wool material so it can just fold over so i need to get like an anti-slip something 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 for underneath the rug so that it doesn't slip and fold over also if anyone has any tips as to how we can prevent the edges from turning up please let us know because we need that otherwise i think we have it the rug guys so it has been a little while since i last spoke to you guys i had some dinner having some chili con carne oh <laughs> imagine dropping this on the cream so far <laughs> the pain that just flashed right before my eyes that's even why we have these i've got these throws so that you can actually spread them on the sofa and sit and that way you don't have to worry so much about spilling stuff on the very nice cream sofa. But anyway, um, yeah, I was just having some dinner, chilling for a little bit. And now I need to face the task of putting together my dining chairs. I'm going to put together one. I only have the energy for one this evening. Like I've done enough work today. So I'm going to put together one and see how it looks. And then I'm going to head over to my boom to this evening. Because tomorrow morning, guys, I'm really hoping to do a thing. Like I'm hoping to do a little bit of a thing. <laughs> I'm hoping to go and get my second vaccination early because I really want us to go somewhere. There's a trip that well, I really want us to go on, but we can't go on the trip unless we're double vaccinated two weeks before the trips. How crazy is that? Two weeks before the trip, you have to be double vax, which to me doesn't really make that much sense because I know people who are double vaccinated who have still got corona. Like, after being double vaccinated. So it's not even like being double vaccinated stop you from getting a virus. It just means that I guess your, the way your body reacts to it is just not as bad as it would if you hadn't got the vaccine, I think. All the doctors in the comments, feel free to correct me, okay? <laughs> but it's just, it's really annoying. Um, and uh, the NHS won't give it to you unless you've had like an eight week gap since your first dose and the second dose. But actually medically speaking, Pfizer, the jab, I think, I could be wrong, don't quote me if I could be wrong here, but I know from my research, it seems as though with the Pfizer jab, you can get your second shot anywhere after 21 days from your first. And it's, it's long been 21 days, so I'm really hoping that tomorrow we can go into one of these centers. I'll leave any information that I can in the description box for you guys to go check it out. So the center that we wanna to go to tomorrow is the King Square Community Center, Blackwell House. And I spoke to them on the phone today and they said that literally between today and tomorrow is the last time that they're doing these quick boosters and you have to get there between 9 and 12 or 2 to 5 p.m but when i rang today at around 11 o'clock the guy said that there was a two hour queue so <laughs> i'm really hoping to get the first thing in the morning like i'm talking center opens at nine o'clock but i'm telling my boo that we need to be there at eight eight fifteen at the latest because i need this jab I need to leave this country. I know you guys want to travel vlog. I know you want it. <laughs> so yeah, really hoping that tomorrow morning that goes really well. But for the time being, I'm going to finish my dinner and then that dining chair. I'm tired of adulting, man. Like, this is long. When's the bit when I can just sit and, and chill? That's the part I'm trying to get to. All right. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. Okay. Oh, stop! I really hate Bono's diary. Oh, it's the noise for me. I physically 
actually cannot stand polystyrene at all. Do I need an instruction manual or am I just gonna wing it? Wing it. You guys actually get a pretty good view of my rug, my new rug, but look, it's definitely something that's gonna catch a lot of dust in it. Guys, I don't know, what's the perfect rug, guys? Because oh, it's taking too long to find one. But I think I might keep this. Anyway, chair looks simple enough. I like this. I got this, I remember, because I really liked the brown here. That's why. So when it says white, it means this cream seat. But I actually got it because of the wooden bits here being brown so that it can match that other armchair. No manual needed, just vibes. If you are looking for some of the sharpest knives out in the game, Ikea knives, the knives from Ikea, don't play with her. They're so sharp. Oh, maybe it's shook. They're so affordable as well. Sharp and affordable. How am I just poking it and it's coming apart? Ooh, okay. You got taste, girl, you got taste. manuals two seconds later after grabbing the instruction manual like am i not halfway with the chair this is so annoying why are instruction manuals so useful but so hard to read that actually doesn't make sense there's a gap unless the chair goes out which i know it doesn't oh that's the wrong way around <laughs> oh gosh what have i signed up for Tell me more, tell me more. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yes, look at this. Guys, look at this chair. Listen, I can't lie. Let me not even come on away to you. I haven't screwed in the bottom. I'm tired. I'm tired, I can't be bothered. I'm just gonna put it here just for visual, just to see. You get the gist. All I need to do is screw the bottom, right? I love it. I absolutely love this chair. Let me tell you where I got it from. Purchased this from Belliani. Set of two dining chair, faux leather, white lin. And for two of them is £179.99. I have literally just ordered my second ones right now. Literally, I placed an order just before I showed you this, because I love them. I absolutely love it, like it's perfect. The reason why I bought this particular one is so that it could match with this chair. You see this one with this chair? The wood, wood on wood, cream on like cream. I freaking love it. And guys, as I said, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this rug, okay. I like this rug, but there's one rug, this is other rug that is washable. And for me, I need things that are washable. My sofa is washable. My rug, ideally needs to be, rug, to be washable because you guys know me, I spill things all the time. I literally, I nearly spilled bloody, what do you call it? Mints on my sofa earlier when I was eating. So I'm thinking like, I might swap out this rug for a washable one, because I just think that just makes a lot of sense. But you guys let me know. Well, let me show you what it looks like, where it's meant to go. So this is how she goes, and I love, do you know what I absolutely love? Ignore the mess. What I love most is the fact that it even curves at the top. I love this curve because I think it complements the round dining chairs. And then that way when we put one here, ooh, that's my frame. Guys, what? That's my frame. The, my canvas is back. It's been framed, as you can see. <laughs> you can't even see it. Wonderful. I'll show you that tomorrow. We need to go to B&Q tomorrow as well to go and get some kind of something to hang it up on the wall. For now, the canvas is back. It's been framed. It's gonna go there. But let's go back onto this chair. It's so freaking cute. Like, I'm so happy. So happy. So as you can imagine, there will be three more on the other side. So I have got one there, one inside there, and I've literally ordered two more to come so that we can put them right there. Cannot wait. 
guys this place is really coming together like i love it so much if you haven't yet please go and watch my video which is 10 things i wish i knew before buying a place because in that video i'm talking about how decorating and furnishing a place actually takes a little bit of time and money and waiting you will wait you will wait like i've just ordered the two more dining chairs and i've just had to put it off the back of my mind because these things take time to deliver so i am so freaking happy that we finally finally have a dining chairs it's taken me so long but we finally have dining chairs what is next i really want to move up to my bedroom next and do my bedroom get bedside cabinet because i already have sheets i'm just gonna wash my face real quick before i head off to my booze you can probably hear the tv downstairs that's dot watching bling empire guys please let me know what are you currently watching like give me a good series to watch but don't it can't be something that has too many episodes i'm very specific this is why i find it hard to find things to watch because as much as i really want a show to watch i can't commit to anything that's more than two two seasons max and definitely no more than like eight episodes a season any kind of thing that is 16 episodes a season you can absolutely drop me out of it absolutely drop me out i don't even know how people do that so please let me know your favorite series though i love things like good girls on netflix um that's it <laughs> i really enjoy good girls that's really my kind of series so please help us yourself Forever running out, genuinely, guys. This is literally another one. Another one. It's so good. One of my absolute faves. It goes from gel to oil to milk, and it just takes off all your makeup. I love my makeup off completely. I don't want to. I don't want to be toning and see any brown. Mm -hmm. Milk. It's somewhere in Angel and we want to get there for about 8 o'clock. The centre actually opens at 9am but because it's a first come first serve we're trying to make sure that we're literally the first people because Boo's got work and I just really need to get this done today, okay? So I wish us luck, hopefully it all goes well. <laughs> So look at the time, it's 10 minutes past eight. We've got here, look at the queue. There's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 people ahead of us in the queue and it's 10 past eight. That's crazy. <laughs> Who would have thought that you'd be here racing for the drab? No comment. <laughs> At first we were literally protesting the vax and we were like, no, I'm not gonna get it unless I literally have to, sorry. Oh, that's oh, so thank kind. You. No, thank I'm you. Fine, thank you yeah, thank you so that's so kind. Just a random lady just asked if we want coffee or water in the queue. What a sweetheart. That girl right there. So sweet. Anyway, we were saying initially we were we were protesting the jab and we weren't going to get the jab, but we kind of had a feeling that they were going to put things in place where you can't travel, you can't do this, you can't do that unless you're fully vaccinated. And the day has come. We want to go on a trip. Um, it's a very short trip, even within the UK, but the brand has asked that we are fully vaccinated two whole weeks before we take off. And it's not even taking off, we're gonna be in the UK. So two weeks before we um, take off, gotta get vaxxed. So we're here. Look at the queue. Everyone's gonna have this. Nuts, nuts, nuts. Now this doesn't feel so bad anymore. This part here, we even got a seat, this is a luxury. A luxury bench. <laughs> We're all currently preying this truck because we think he might be carrying the goods, maybe. <laughs> we are all preying. I think that's a plug. 
the delivery is here. Ten, five to nine, and we are at almost at the front of the queue. The guy who's policing this queue is on a major power trip, <laughs> the, the wildest power trip. Literally, if you stand on the road, back of the queue. If you do this, back of the queue. If you look at me, back of the. Oh. If you argue with me, back of the I'm queue. Me <laughs> You're a one hour timer. Nobody's arguing. <laughs> Literally, the guy is on the biggest power trip, but look, we're so close, so, so close. Inject it. Hey guys, good afternoon, cute face, just got ready, um, it's a little bit later on, as you can see I still have my jab, it's so funny like, let me turn this down, so I have the fan on because it gets really hot in here, um, especially when I close the door, which I never do because I feel super claustrophobic, anyway, back from my jab, my arm is so heavy, this is so typical of me to have important work to do, <laughs> On the day that I get vaccinated, I got vaccinated. My first vax, I did the exact same thing. I had work to do, literally hours after. And now here I am and I can barely lift my arm up. But money up and make. So money up and make. And I'm very excited about this. Oh my God, you guys. I literally sat here to just show you this dress, first of all. Oh God, nails and necklaces. They just don't go. I'm gonna need that to help from now on. But um, I literally sat here to show you my Waridi brand dress. Guys, look, look at this. I haven't even taken the tag off it. I'll take the tag off this one. So I've got the new collection and look at how stunning this piece is. Honestly, black owned business. Look at the back. Giving, serving. <laughs> I love it so much. Anyway, let me get ready, go shoot some work, and then we can catch up a little bit later on in the evening when I'm feeling, hopefully, better because my work is done. Fan, back on. Ah, please, continue. Good evening. So we have just pulled up at Toby Carvery. If you don't know anything about Toby Carvery, it's basically somewhere where they would do roasts. Like it's pub food. It really is the, the ultimate pub food. Um, and they do like a Sunday roast but every single day. And I have an affinity to this place like this. <laughs> I have a different kind of affinity to this place. Here with uh, my baby girl, little sis, Dot. And I can't wait to eat. After a hard day's work, really good day's work actually. Um, can't wait to eat. So you come here and then you pick a choice of what meats that you want. I always go for all three. So I always go for pork, gammon, and then beef. And you get unlimited vegetables. So Yorkshire puddings and all of these other bits that are here, unlimited. Oh, these potatoes already have gravy. Got some sage. <laughs> Just about. 
You know she'll be green? Well, yeah. It's like... It's about to be... Oh! It's about to be perfect. It's not bad, is it? Bad. It's like zero. It's like almost perfect. Oh! Ooh. It's not my side. Yeah, it's perfect. Oh, not us being perfect. <laughs> Zero, zero. No, it's not perfect because perfect is green. Oh, you get it's, it's still zero degrees. It's though, literally right? zero. It's still zero degrees. Literally zero. Beautiful art. Oh, coming like a gallery. It's giving me minimal. It's giving me art. It's giving me what do you see when you look at this? I see the pain of it's the children me... <laughs> from the rain. <laughs> It's, it's giving me texture. No, I like it. I actually do. I think it goes well. I think it goes well too. Guys, I absolutely love my art piece at the back. I absolutely love it. It is modern, it is minimal, it is classic. I need to show you guys it closer. Sorry, one sec. Look, so you can see the texture. So look at the texture, guys. Look at how much it complements the voils. The sheen of the voils, the sheen of the canvas, the textures. Let me show you this. It's got these textures all around it. And this is so freaking nice. Like it is gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. Stunning. And I know some people might be thinking, um, you could have probably just made that. I probably could, but I could not have made it this beautifully. Like, no way. It's such a beautiful professional finish. And the way it was framed as well, worth every single penny. It just makes the place just look so luxe. I love it. I can't, oh my God, I don't even know. I feel like I love it too much. Is that possible? <laughs> now I need to hang up more things. I literally cannot wait for my black owned pieces to come. Well, my black owned piece. And I think I'm gonna order more. I'm gonna order more for the kind of the gallery area when you go up my stairs. There's like the, the back of it basically, the back of the stairs. This is beautiful. Art is what is needed. Okay, so what I need to do next is build the next chair, the second dining chair. Now that my arm is feeling, my arm is feeling better. Look, I can move my arm again. It was just like 24 hours of intense pain, but we're back again. So now I'm gonna make my dining chair and then put it a wrap. I think we're coming to the end of the vlog. And guys, if you still haven't voted for me for vlogger of the year please 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 go and vote for me go and click the link i've left it in the description box and also in the pinned comment you can vote for me all the way until the end of august for me to win vlogger of the year i would really appreciate it because i really want to win this so badly you guys please please like look at me hanging up frames that deserves an award like nobody taught me how to do these <laughs> so yeah um please click the link to go and vote for me and in the meantime i'm gonna build this dining chair. <sighs> but I'm feeling good. I'm feeling like the lounge, the lounge is like, dare I say, 80% complete. Because I still need to get um, foliage and greenery. I can't wait. I cannot wait to get my, my plants and like table decorations. And Are we getting a coffee table, Lydia? Are we? Let me have a chat with myself about that, to be honest. But um, yeah, the command strips work really well. Love it. Look at this area. Look at how beautiful it looks. And it only has one chair. Like we literally only have one chair there for now. And I love it. This space is so mean. Literally so mean. I love it so much. I love everything about this place. Like I, <laughs> I even love the flowers. These are the flowers that I was using as a prop for today's shoot. But I do like to have fresh flowers anyway. Um, they look so so good fresh flowers the light is on and the marble table like these are all stuff that I planned ages ago and now that it's all coming together it's just so wonderful so guys I'm gonna have to love you and leave you here for this week I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me and kind of putting together bits and bobs of the house it feels so nice for things to finally be coming together though I'm still a very long way away like I said before I want to like complete each room one by one first so we're gonna finish the wrap the lounge fully finished a lounge 
um and then move on to upstairs like i still haven't finished any room in this in this house at all but it feels amazing it feels amazing that it's just coming up to my one year anniversary since i bought the house and the transformation of this place is insane if i just say so myself it's insane and i, I just have god to thank for all of this literally i have god and god only obviously and you guys too but god comes first so thank you so much and i'm so grateful to be able to like genuinely be building my own perfect life it might not be perfect for anybody else but this is literally all this is all i need this is all i want um like how can i not be happy when i've got fresh flowers sitting here on top of my table my marble table that took me ages to find that's now here on top of my absolute favorite lighting feature with this that i made by my like how can i not be a happy girl how can i not be a grateful girl how can i not um, it feels good and I'm super grateful and thankful for you guys for watching all of this because this obviously helps massively <laughs> Ah, Guys until next time I'm gonna have to love you guys and leave you and I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I cannot wait to share the stairs transformation with you Tick tock tick tock Guys until then I'm gonna love you and leave you and please don't forget to vote for me for vlog of the year don't forget, you can vote for me every single day until the end. Actually, no, you can't vote for me every day. I found out that recently. Vote for me with all your email addresses, your work email, your stalking email, your Finster email, and your actual email. Use all of them to vote for me, please, to help me win Vlogger of the Year. And I should have to see you guys in my next video. Mwah, mwah. Much love. Oh, that was a bad. Much love. <laughs>